Understanding Hamstring Massage, a guide for English language learners. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a very specific phrase, hamstring massage. This topic might seem straightforward, but it's packed with interesting nuances that are crucial for understanding and using this phrase correctly in English. Let's dive in. Hamstring massage is composed of two words, hamstring and massage. One, hamstring. This is a group of three muscles at the back of your thigh. These muscles are important for walking, running, and many other activities. Two, massage. This refers to the rubbing and kneading of muscles and joints of the body, typically to relieve tension or pain. When we combine these two words, we're talking about a specific type of massage that focuses on the hamstring muscles. Understanding why people get hamstring massages can be very helpful. 1. Injury prevention and recovery. Athletes often receive hamstring massages to prevent injuries or to recover from them. 2. Relief from pain and tension. Even non-athletes might need this type of massage to relieve pain or tension in their legs. 3. Improving flexibility. Regular hamstring massages can also help in improving flexibility in the legs. Now that we know what a hamstring massage is, let's look at how to use this phrase in everyday conversation. 1. Scheduling an appointment. I have an appointment for a hamstring massage tomorrow. 2. Recommending a massage. You've been running a lot lately. Maybe you should consider a hamstring massage. 3. Discussing benefits. After my hamstring massage, I felt more flexible and relaxed. In some cultures, massages, including hamstring massages, are a regular part of health and wellness routines. It's important to understand this context as it influences how often and why people discuss this topic. We hope this video has been informative and has helped clarify the meaning and use of the phrase, hamstring massage. Remember, understanding such specific phrases not only enhances your vocabulary but also your cultural understanding of English-speaking countries. Stay curious, and keep learning! See you in the next video!